Uh, hello, welcome back. Uh, let's talk about today about another interesting topic. Um, let's talk about how to uh, run background tasks uh, with Fast API. Uh, how um, to build uh, API endpoint which would um, return response immediately. Uh, imagine you may um, uh, execute some logic um, in the endpoint. Uh, in my example, this will be logging. Um, the uh, endpoint will be responsible to log some data and it may log data either to database or to the file or maybe just print the information. But for such task as logging, you don't want to uh, wait for the response. You want to call endpoint uh, and it should do the job uh, in parallel and you should, be, should return response to the caller immediately. So there should be no uh, significant wait time. And uh, logging is just uh, one example. There could be other cases where you want to call endpoint and submit a job. Job runs um, in parallel and uh, you're fine. You get back the response. We'll use uh, fast API background, um, uh, background uh, class for this. Uh, this is one option that I'll show in, in this video. Uh, another option is to use uh, Celery, uh, distributed task queue, which I was explaining in uh, previous videos. But uh, in my point of view, Celery is a more complex uh, beast and uh, you could use it uh, for more complex computations or when you have some uh, longer running um, services to be executed from the task and so on. But for simpler cases, you would like to have something uh, simpler and FastAPI background class is the ideal um, option to make your uh, uh, API endpoint to execute uh, Asynchronously, basically, you don't uh, without waiting for the response. Let's uh, jump to the uh, screen and um, uh, the demo that I'll be showing today is based on our open source product called Skipper. Uh, this is a simple um, workflow engine for ML applications, but it can be also used uh, for any other applications too. And the main point is that we in declarative way, we allow to um, orchestrate events between different uh, services. And there's a web API in front that uh, listens for the requests from the outside. And then this request uh, based on, on, on certain information about that request, uh, uh, this request is being processed by different services. And the configuration where and how this request will be processed is managed by the workflow. And yeah, today I'll show just the uh, logger part and I'll show you how we implemented background tasks uh, so that logger executes um, uh, asynchronously without blocking the caller. Okay, so I have an API endpoint is running. And yeah, this, uh, this is a post operation which um, executes um, uh, logger task uh, which logs uh, workflow operation. Let's say every time uh, caller, uh, every time some action happens in the workflow, we log. Uh, we want to log this, and in so in case error would happen, we would always uh, be able to get the, the trace of the operations, right? And we can test uh, how it works now. Uh, just some dummy service ID and dummy uh, queue name uh, executes, and we get back the response that uh, it was logged. Then if I switch uh, back to development environment, I see that uh, this event was locked. And obviously because uh, in this case, it's a dummy um, information and we're just printing out uh, uh, the log information and there's no logging either to database or to file. So it happens instantly, but uh, let's see the implementation. So uh, we have a router class and this is where the endpoint is defined. And uh, this, uh, the method which implements endpoint, uh, it, it, it gets additional parameter of uh, type background tasks. And this uh, background tasks uh, is a class uh, that comes from fast API. And then we call our uh, function, custom function print workflow, and we pass uh, uh, payload, logger data, which was uh, uh, accepted through the endpoint. And using background tasks, uh, we call add task and we reference our function. And background task uh, class will be responsible to call the function in a, 
in parallel way. So uh, the response will be returned immediately to the caller and function will be uh, executed um, in parallel without uh, main uh, endpoint thread waiting for the execution. Okay, the function itself is over here. And now let's uh, let, let's test it. Let's uh, put some uh, sleep over here. So we use time sleep and let's put five seconds. That should be enough. Okay, uh, application is restarted and now let's uh, execute it again. So we call execute and we see that the response is instant. Uh, but in the logger, uh, we saw that the message was printed slightly uh, later after five seconds. Let's let's do it again. Let's uh, call execute, uh, switch back to the console, and in five seconds we should get uh, the printout uh, as we see here. So this means it proves that uh, this endpoint uh, doesn't block the uh, caller, and uh, the logic is being executed in a parallel uh, way without blocking it. And let's see how the same stuff would work uh, if we would not use background task. Okay, so for that reason, let's copy this one uh, and let's uh, remove um, background task from here and just uh, let's leave a call to the function print workflow and which accepts logger data, right? And then the same function will be executed, but we have a sleep time, there are five seconds. And uh, let's see uh, the difference in behavior. Application is reloaded, click execute, and now we see um, we are waiting. Uh, and, and then five seconds are done, uh, function is executed, and then we get the response. Now again, we click execute, we are waiting five seconds. Five seconds uh, completed, and th then we get back the response. So it's obvious, right? Uh, if uh, uh, you have endpoint operation which um, does the job, and you don't need actually to get uh, specific information uh, in return, you don't return anything from the endpoint. So then, background task um, option would be very useful because you could execute logic from that endpoint in parallel way without uh, blocking the endpoint and it executes uh, asynchronously this because um, logic runs uh, in parallel and uh, yeah, it's uh, response comes immediately okay so hopefully this quick uh, tip was useful and yeah originally at the first time before implementing this logic uh, i was not aware about background tasks in fast api and i thought maybe it will be complex to build this logic um, uh, where uh, endpoint doesn't wait until function executes but then i found that this background task is just one line of of, of code to to build this logic and this is the another another reason why i love fast api because um, it's really fast and API is simple and you, you can build anything um, and uh, it runs very powerful way. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. See you next time. Bye.